Hey everybody, I'm Louie. I'm here with the Motorcycle Gear Experts at Jaffram. Today we're taking a closer look at some of the most popular DOT approved half helmets available at Jaffram.com. DOT approved half helmets are primarily worn for one reason, right? The man says you have to wear a helmet. Of course, there are exceptions, like someone that loves to ride but has an issue with close spaces, or someone just looking for a little bit of that peace of mind that comes with having something between your head and the pavement. Now, while it's true, half helmets are most popular in states where helmets are a legal requirement, and they provide the least amount of safety when compared to a three-quarter or full-face style helmet, their minimalist design flows a ton of air and provides the fewest obstacles between you and the sounds and smells of riding. Oh yeah, and they will definitely keep you from getting a ticket. So if the wind in your face aspect of motorcycle riding is your favorite part, a half helmet might be just what you're looking for. Now, the two main characteristics that riders look for in a half helmet are fitment and price. Now, fitment's extra important with the DOT half helmet for a couple of reasons. An ill-fitting half helmet will buff it like crazy on the highway, and the drag can cause a pain to develop between your shoulder blades. This is no fun, believe me. An ill-fitting helmet can also be downright upsetting to look at. Now, they come in a lot of different shapes, and picking the wrong one can leave you looking like a giant mushroom. Now you'll notice in your shopping that many of the helmet companies promise the smallest DOT helmet as a result of their EPS liner being the thinnest. The fact is, the EPS has to have a minimum thickness of about an inch to receive a DOT approval. And since many of these half helmet companies are competing against each other for the smallest looking helmet, the EPS liners are all pretty similar in thickness. The difference is all about the shapes. Now, the closer the shape of your head is to the shape of the helmet, the better the helmet will sit on your head, and the smaller the helmet will look. Now, the other main consideration when purchasing a half helmet is price, which is important because if you're going to ride around looking like a giant mushroom, you better have some cash in your pocket to buy everybody lunch or nobody's going to want to ride with you. Now, most value priced half helmets are available in three versions. A naked version, which is the smooth, sleek version. A standard version, which usually includes a visor and perhaps some vent ports. And a touring version, which has a visor, ventilation, and typically a removable neck curtain with ear pads. Now, let's look at some of the different models. Now to see any of the individual feature breakdowns of any of the lids in this video, just click the link below to go to our website. The first helmet I want to show you is this HCI 100. Again, the name of the game with these minimalist style half helmets is fit. Now this helmet's going to work best on riders with intermediate oval heads. I have a very long oval head. My 23 and a half inch head calls for an extra large on the size chart. And this would be the right size if I had a little bit rounder head so it wouldn't sit up so high because the helmet would be able to sit down on the crown of my head properly. Now this shape of helmet is going to fit most heads though, so it was definitely the right call on HCI's part to make it an intermediate oval head shape. Now this helmet has a removable peak visor and a plush liner. It's also one of our most inexpensive helmets. So if you have an intermediate oval head, this HCI 100 is a great value. It might be right up your alley. And this helmet fitment is also available in the popular polo style in the HCI 110 for riders that prefer the visor be sculpted right into the shell. Also, for the intermediate oval guys and gals, we offer the G-Max GM45S. And this is a clean, simple design that'll fit a lot of heads. And one of the features that sort of sets this helmet apart for me is the liner. Now, most of the half helmets in this price point have mediocre liner systems. G-Max half helmets are equipped with quality liners that are wicking, removable, and washable. And G-Max also offers one of the better half helmets available equipped with an interior sun visor, the GM55S. Keep in mind though, by adding an interior sun visor system to a half helmet, you are increasing the thickness of the helmet, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a low profile look. For riders with rounder heads, I recommend either the AFX FX70 or the Skid Lid in either the clean and simple Naked Shorty or the traditional version. Now both of these helmets are of similar quality, with thermoplastic alloy shells and basic liners, and are available in sizes extra small to double extra large. But if you're interested in a finish other than a solid color, Skid Lids has a more contemporary line of graphics in my opinion. For the long oval head havers like myself, we offer Vega's line of half helmets. And they're available in multiple styles with smooth versions, versions with removable visors, versions with retractable sunshades, and even a full carbon fiber version. And we really do have a helmet for every head, even my goofy nugget. Now, Vega has a unique size range from double extra small to double extra large. Now, the size chart recommends a large for my head circumference and you can see that it fits down on my head as good as any half helmet's going to. Now one aspect you should keep in mind with the Vega helmets is that the shells are made of fiberglass. Now this is one of the best materials there is for a helmet shell because it's super lightweight and absorbs impact energy instead of reflecting it, creating a safer helmet. This also means though that the helmet will not tolerate infinite amounts of abuse. 
Fiberglass helmets are designed to manage a single impact and should then be replaced. So if you're the type to leave your helmet on the seat of your bike and often find yourself chasing your helmet as it rolls down the driveway, a fiberglass helmet may not be the right choice for you. Don't look at me that way. You know who you are. In addition to the seemingly endless variety of value-priced half helmets available at Jaffram, there's also quite a few premium selections. Now, these are two of my favorites. This is the famed Bell Rogue. This is an example of a half helmet that's anything but minimalist. Now, this helmet's unique features help to solve the two main complaints with half helmets. The first is buffeting. By adding this lower curtain around the sides and back of the helmet, Bell's been able to dramatically reduce the drag on the helmet, which prolongs rides by reducing fatigue. The second common issue with half helmets is the taking of bugs, birds, and road debris to the kisser. Now, this Rogue helmet has an adjustable, removable muzzle. This muzzle isn't going to protect your face in a crash, but it sure will take the sting out of a cicada or a hummingbird. The final helmet in our comparison today is the Scorpion XOC 110. The shell is made of lightweight polycarbonate and has earned an ECE rating in addition to the DOT approval. And this is one of the most tour-friendly half helmets there is, and the fit is just delightful. Now, the size chart recommends a large for my head circumference, and the fit is firm and snug, but very comfortable. I prefer a snug fit, especially if I'm headed out for a long ride, because I'd much rather feel some pressure on my head than have the helmet acting like a sail when I'm riding down the highway. In addition to the great fit, the C110 also has the best liner of the helmets tested for this video. Scorpion's quick wick liner does a great job of working with the ventilation to pull the sweat off your head. It's also removable and washable. The interior sunshade is well done on this model as well. Most half helmet sunshields are raised and lowered by simply pulling or pushing on them. And once these systems start to wear, gravity can prevail, and the shields will sort of creep down a little on their own when in the raised position. Now, the C110 shield operates differently. You have to press up on this tab to release and lower the sun shield, and when you raise it, it clicks into place and won't move again until you want it to. And there you have it. Just a few of the many half helmet offerings from Jaffram. To see more incredible helmet values, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Jaffram Videos, or click the link below to go to our website. Share this video on your Facebook page or you'll get 10 years of bad luck. Actually, no you won't. That's ridiculous. But you should share it anyway. And remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie, and you'll see me next time.